Okay, so I'm going to be making some jewelry, and I don't know what all I'm going to make yet. Um, let's see here. Let's see what I got. I've got some beading wire. I've got some hemp. So I can make both. Um, hemp for beads. i got to get all my tools out. I have a huge mess in here. So let's figure out something cute. First thing I'm going to do is look at my pendants because I like to make things with pendants on them. So, in here I have a lot of pendants. container has like pendants and bead caps. Anything metallic goes in here. I like this pendant. Maybe I'll do something with that. Let's see. It's missing some stuff though so I might fix it up. I like that pendant too. Do something nautical. So first thing I'm gonna do is take apart this pendant. This is an old earring, and I'm gonna hook that through the loop there and crimp it down with my pliers closing off that closing off that um, gap in between the loop Now that's a little more balanced out. Kind of tempted. I think I'm going to take that off again. Because it's not as balanced as I would like it to be. I'm going to take that off and hook it through right there and then close it off. Now it hangs down in the middle like that. And then I'm going to take this bottom one off of there and hook it through on there. So now that's a little more balanced. But I want to add to that. So I want to use my pearls. We got seashells going on here. Here are my pearls. And I think I'll use these blue gray pearls here. So I'm gonna get two about the same size out. that. And then I'm going to get some of these posts. 
and I'm going to use these um, bronze ones that have a flat post at the bottom and I'm going to bead that with the pearl and then I'm going to take these rounded pliers and bend it over I'm going to take my wire cutter and cut about two centimeters and then I'm going to stick stick it through like so and I'm going to take my round pliers and bend the loop around that hole in the seashell and close it off. Okay, we have this one, this one's on backwards, so I gotta redo this one. Now I'm going to take another one of those posts with the flat bottom, put the other pearl on it, That pearl doesn't want to go on it. Maybe I'll put a bigger pearl on it. That would be pretty. Okay. How about that pearl? That's a really pretty pearl. Oh, but that's not the shape I want. Okay. Mm. Kind of tempted to use this pearl here. I'm going to look around a little more. Yeah, I think I'm going to use this pearl. This pearl already has a loop on it, so what we got to do is take our pliers and open up that loop like that. And then hook it on the bottom. Seashell. And close it up. And there we have a bounced out pendant. See how there's a balance between everything? So now what I'm going to do is take off this earring piece. And now I have a pendant I can use for a necklace. So there's one of our pendants. There's another pendant. This one, I got to take off that earring piece. There's another pendant.
Okay, so I think I want to work on this one first since I spent so much time on it. And I think I want to make matching earrings to go with it. Maybe do some seashell on the necklace. Maybe some of these seashells. Looks like I need to get more seashell beads. here that kind of match it. I just constantly reevaluate how I want things to look. Ooh, that's pretty. We could put that on the end of the necklace. Okay, I think I have this pretty much figured out. I'm going to put this one right here, except for I need to break off this chain. And then we need a clasp to close it. I'm looking for something with use a lobster claw. Because a lobster claw would definitely work. I'm pretty sure. And then I might want to add some silver accents. How about some of these silver star bead caps? Let's put those around this pearl. We'll do them around the pearls, maybe. We'll put bead caps around the pearls. Where'd the other? You'll start seeing how everything goes together once. I get to strain it all on the beading wire. Okay, I think we're ready. Oh, we need some crimping beads. So in here I have my crimping beads. I usually like to use four crimping beads per side. So I have this beading wire. This is a flexible nylon coated stainless steel beading wire. So this is like hypoallergenic. And I'm going to try and measure this out a little extra. So I'm going to cut it right there. And that'll be plenty for my necklace. So first 
And I'm going to start out with the class. So I'm going to add the crimping beads. Okay, we got four crimping beads there. And then I'm going to add the clasp. And you fold it over and string on the crimpy bead like that. So you folded it over and kind of made a knot around the clasp. And then you take your crimping pliers and start with the beads closest to the clasp and crimp down. And then you got your necklace all set to start beading on your beads. So I'm going to start with these small pearls here. And that extra wire, you just thread that through the beads so it hides the wire. Like that. Some tips I can give you about making jewelry is try to make it balanced. Even if it's asymmetrical, try to make it balanced and um, like this necklace is asymmetrical but I balanced it out by adding pearls similar to this on the other side. That's what it's looking like so far. Now I'm going to add this silver bead. Then these bead caps. Now you want the pretty end of the bead cap facing out and then the flat end facing the bead. And now the, here's another tip. When you have a necklace, you want to check and make sure that the length is good. And this one is. You want to make sure the pendant is You want to make sure that the pendant is like in the middle of your neck and the um, clasp is in the back of your neck. And this one is, it's like right in the middle. And this is going to be an extender, so it doesn't really matter with this necklace, but if you're going to be doing any necklace, you want to make sure that it's going to be long enough by measuring where the clasp and the pendant measure on your neck. So this is perfect and now we're going to continue with the other side of the beads. Also when you're putting things on you want to make sure that if there's beads that have a front and a back that they're facing the right way. See, this is the front of the pendant, this is the front of these beads, this is the front of this bead. So the, they all line up when you're wearing the necklace. Sometimes they might move around, but you want to be able to adjust them so that they are facing the front. Okay, now we've gotten to where we need to put our crimping beads on at the end here and then we're just uh, threading it through these last three pearls here and then what we're going to do is take our pliers and pull the string to make it nice and tight. 
we're pulling the we're pulling the string of the necklace and then we're pulling the string of the end and we're just pulling it as tight as possible nice and tight there. So then what we do is take our crimping beads and crimp down or take our crimping pliers and crimp down the crimping beads. And then take our wire cutter and cut off that extra wire. Try to tuck that extra wire into the beads. And there you have it, a necklace. Beautiful pearl necklace. And it's adjustable too, you can put it at any bead there. Make it as long as you want to. Okay, now let's make matching earrings. So, the metal I used on this necklace is silver, so I want to make the matching earrings silver. So I'm going to use these silver posts that have a flat bottom. And I'm going to add a seashell. These posts might not be long enough. Might have to rethink what I'm doing here. Yeah, that's not long enough. Let's try a smaller pearl. Let's try one of these pearls. Okay, I'm going to try using these flat beads here with texture um, and then try putting on the pearl this pearl That worked out perfectly. And it matches. So now we need a earring hook. And you put the earring hook on. Actually, first you bend it. And then you put the earring hook on. and then you bend it backwards like that to make a loop and you're using your round pliers and there you go there's a matching earring kind of want to make a necklace using these all together. Like so. Um, let's see what kind of glass beads I have. I want something that looks like water. Maybe some sea glass. Yes. Just gonna pull out glass I like. 
Maybe I'll do a hemp necklace with this. That sounds cool. Okay, that's what the plan is. So we'll do a hemp necklace. Where, and then with hemp necklaces, I like to have one bead be the end bead. Okay, so now we're going to do a piratey hemp necklace. First things first, I need to put um, little hoops on those pendants. So we got a couple hoops here. And with um, hemp, in order to make a necklace that fits your neck, you want to do each strand double your arm length. And you want two strands. I'm going to do blue and black, and then this bead, which is going to be the big bead at the end that holds it together, you want the loop to be big enough that it holds on to there. So. But what I like to do is twist up the strands. There we go. Now it's nice and tight. Had to double knot it and twist it. Now I'm going to tie a knot with all the strands. and push it up to meet those two knots there and make sure it gets nice and tight. And there is our loop and our bead passes through. In fact, we could probably use a bigger bead. So let's see what other beads we have here. This is a nice big bead. Let's see if it fits through there. No, that one's too big. And that one is perfect, so we'll use that one as our end bead. So what I like to do is hook it to my pinky toe, because I feel like I get the most um, This tautness with that. And then I'm going to have black on one side and blue on the other. And what I do is hold this with my teeth. I'm going to show you how to do a, maybe I, what I should do. I'm not going to hold it with my teeth because I got to talk. So, but normally I would hold it with my teeth. So what I'm going to do is take these two strands here. And tie them nice and tight around my other ankle. There, I did a slip knot so I can have it tight, but I can still pull it apart. Okay, so you want it nice and tight, 
and then you take these two loose strands here and you put one across like that and you put the other on top and then thread it under and through and pull it to create a knot. And this creates like a DNA strand. You'll see it as we go along. So one over, one over this strand and then under and through. That was a very long process. <laughs> so here's my pirate hemp necklace and here's my pearl necklace with earrings. And I'm kind of thinking I want to make some earrings to match the pirate hemp necklace. Alright, we finished. We got our earrings and our necklace and our earrings and our necklace oh it was fun I always love designing new stuff now I gotta clean up my mess so thanks for watching and I hope watching this was helpful to you